welcome back to my channel. Today we are building a another speed build and thank you guys so much for joining me today. Today I have decided to build a blue apartment. It's very large and literally the theme is just blue. Um, but it came out really cute and it has two or three bedrooms, two bathrooms and an office space and a super huge living area, dining room, kitchen, you know, the whole nine. So cute. Loved it. Um, I have no reason to build this blue apartment other than the fact that I saw a really cute Pinterest photo and decided, you know what, this is going to inspire me and inspire it did. Anyway, as you can see now, I am actually painting some of the walls beforehand. I don't paint all of them, but you know, it's a step in the right direction for me because those of you who watch my speed builds know I consistently wait to the very last minute to do any of the painting or flooring other than in the main house. So, kudos to me, I guess. Anyway, I am actually in the middle of, not finals week, but I'm getting to the close to the end of the semester, and at the time you're watching this video, I have three presentations due this week, and I have to start studying because I have four final exams. In my personal opinion, if you have a massive final project with, like, research there's a three of my um, projects have 15 page reports and 20 minute presentations with research that we conducted on our own um, then you're just not allowed to have a final like there should be a rule or something I I am going to have to petition to set this rule in motion but on the bright side I am almost done with this semester and for the first time since I started college, I will not be taking summer classes, and I'm really going to upgrade my life, I think. I have all these new recipes I want to try. Um, I got new workout clothes because, you know, got to get back on my grind. I have these roller skates I bought off Marketplace that are so cute, and they're hot pink, and if you'd like to see me attempt to roller skate in them, check out my Instagram because that is where I post all of my most embarrassing content. Well, debatable. Because I do have a TikTok page that came up in my digital media class and everyone was like, oh my god, let's look through it. And it was not embarrassing, but it was quite the experience to sit around like really strangers because the class is so large and a professor who has a doctorate in digital media as well as a full-time 9-to-5 job in which she works professionally for a company as their digital media like coordinator. And just have them be like, okay, let's analyze what's good about this TikTok and what's bad. Like, what what scientifically made it good? Anyway, really weird experience. I don't know if any of you have ever had that happen to you. If you have, welcome to the club. Anyhow, you can see, I just love this kitchen. That tile that came with growing together, it, it just is my absolute, it's my absolute favorite. I think it is so beautiful. I can't help but love it. Because that is what I would pick in real life. I am like basic with a little chevron and the colors. Mm, 10 out of 10. Love. I love this big sofa in the blue. It got a little choppy there because I sped this up so much. But that's because I took forever to build this apartment. Considering I didn't have to build an exterior or landscape. But I, um, I did take an embarrassingly long time to kind of get it to come together. Which is why so much is kind of cut out and swooshy swooshy. But... It's really cute, super playable. For those of you who have never downloaded an apartment off the gallery, it's more simple than you'd think, but it is a bit complicated if you've never done it. So basically, after I finished building, I went through and I deleted one wall from each room, so the entire build was just one room. I mean, you do that because in The Sims 4, you have to place apartments as rooms, and then whenever you're... Like, once you finally place it in the lot and you have it all good to go, you just put the walls back and you paint them. It's no big deal. There's a lot of videos on how to do it. Um, and if you guys need a little bit more detail, my next apartment build, I would be happy to go in-game and actually film it for you guys so you know how to do it. It's not super hard, but like I said, if you've never done it before, it can be challenging. I think this blue apartment has inspired me more and I actually am going to do a little rainbow series. Mostly because I have been watching a ton of Not So Berry challenges and just been loving it. I've actually never done the Not So Berry challenge, so maybe in the next few weeks, maybe this summer, that could be like my thing. The one thing I have been doing a lot is my Legacy Let's Play, and we've been having a ton of fun over there. 
and those episodes come out on Friday. We spin a wheel of doom to kind of decide what we're doing, if you're interested in that. And the way I decide what goes on that wheel of doom is actually on my Instagram story. I'll ask questions and people have all kinds of crazy things. And as well as under the comments of the legacy episodes, people who have suggestions, I'm, I'm always here for it. You know what? Not everyone has Instagram. Not everyone wants it. But uh, you, you can get on the wheel. It's really fun. I've been having a wonderful time. But I just love this whole apartment. I love this big room. I'm more happy with how the living space came out in this bedroom or in this apartment than any other room in the house. And I actually even left in the bathrooms, at least one of them, because they are pretty much the same. But no one come for me. This little area right here is so cute. It very, this was like kind of what the Pinterest picture was about with this like big wall mirror and all the plants. And I just, I love that. I have one of those big wall mirrors in my house and it's not covered in plants because it can't be anymore to get into more exciting news. But I do think they're beautiful. Anyway, my big wall standing mirror that I used to take all my hot girl photos in before I went out or left my house or whatever I need to do you know as we all are used to be in my living room area and had um some plants by and was super cute and it is still super cute but it is now in my office locked away because in a very nice turn of events I have actually just adopted a dog from the local shelter where I am and I believe she's some kind of like pocket pity mix terrier thing, but she is so, so sweet and tender. She does not bark and she really likes hugs and cuddles. And at night she has to sleep right on my chest, my face, in, in my armpit. Like she, she doesn't just need to lay by you. She needs to essentially burrow into you. And she's got these beautiful pinto colors. And I'm going to put pictures of her on my Instagram because she's only been with me for like three or four days now. And the first couple days she had a cone of shame on that she was really pissed off about. But she's just the sweetest, most tender girl. And her name is Peaches. I did come up with that. No one come for me if you don't like it. If you do like it, please shower me with affirmations. But she's sweet like Peaches. And I think poor mommy had been like a puppy mill dog. Because when she came into the shelter, she had very recently had puppies, but there were no puppies that came with her. It's very sad. So the first few days, she was really scared and skittish. She still is. It's been storming a lot in Central Florida. And um, the thunder in her are not BFFs. She does not love the thunder. I don't blame her. Me either, sis. But anyway, my poor queen has been here for a couple days now. And she's really starting to come in on her own being a little bit more interested in her toys, has a really good eating schedule. She's got a really cute tactical vest that I got a peach patch for because, again, she's sweet like peaches. And I'm just so happy that she is a part of my little family now. And I just love her to pieces. And that is the best life update I think I could have ever given you guys. There might not be one so good until I graduate college because, boy, am I looking forward to that. Other than that, I've been planning so many summer plans. Comment down below what you guys are planning to do this summer. If anything, if you need some ideas, I have loads of them. But I am looking to do a trip. Around this time last year, I did a trip to St. Thomas with one of my friends from high school. And we just had literally the best time of our life. We were accidentally manifested getting invited on a yacht party. There was an earthquake my friend ended up in the emergency room. She was totally fine, but it was it was not what we planned or expected. We just rolled with the vibes, had an immaculate time. But this summer, we are thinking about going to Puerto Rico together and inviting a few more of our friends. So instead of just the two of us, there'd be like a little bit of a bigger group and ziplining and surfing and hopefully going waterfall jumping because I have actually been to Puerto Rico before I spent... Um, a few weeks there when I was younger over the summer playing soccer and on my free time I obviously went and explored and did things with some of the girls there I was there with and we went like I guess it's technically cliff jumping but there were wa waterfalls and it was completely awesome and when I was like I was like the youngest girl on my team so I jumped off the tallest one first and I completely flopped right on my back. It hurt so bad. There was actually a bruise across my back. And I was just trying so hard not to cry. 
and they were like, oh my god, like, that was so cool, I can't believe you, it doesn't even hurt, and I was like, oh, yeah, it doesn't even hurt, but I felt so cool, and I called my mom when I was in the bathroom, and I turned the shower on, so I could tell her the story without anyone hearing, and she literally was like, girl, why did you do that, I was like, mom, they think I'm cool, please let me have this moment, and I still think that was, like, kind of my era, that was, that's when I peaked in life, in my personal opinion, at least to a certain extent, but if I go to Puerto Rico, I've been super excited to plan, and I've also been looking to possibly go to, like, maybe Utah, I really want to go hiking there, I just love to be outside, I don't know about any of you, and I know that's ironic, because I post a lot of funny TikToks about never leaving my house, because I play The Sims, and truthfully, I can lock myself in my office for hours on end, and talk to really no one not technically you guys but you you don't typically respond and if you ever do start to respond I might need to get checked out but I I love being outside I love sunshine and not being tan but I like just like I I could photosynthesize I swear I told my mom that I'm like mom I'm feeling really extra down today because I have not photosynthesized enough and she's like you need professional help I'm like Heather we are past that we're long past that. All I like is sunshine and hot girl walks and my dog Peach is now in The Sims. It's not hard. And I've been reading. I've been getting a big thing together of summer reading list to kind of go through. Yes, I read for fun. I know some of you might not, but um, I absolutely love to read. If you'd like to read with me this summer, go ahead and follow my book Instagram where I review my books and whatever else I do there. I don't know. I don't post as much on it as I would like to because school has been kicking a girl's behind but I do recommend all my books on there and you can kind of get a little bit of an idea of what I read you know which is kind of funny because I walk around my house and I'm like you know what I need more books I live really close to a Barnes and Noble and uh yeah I spend a lot of money there they know me there I I considered getting a job there like a second job like you know, oh, I have so much free time, like, especially this summer, I'm like, maybe I could just work there, like, one day a week at a discount, meh, no, no, it would be embarrassing to work there, because I'm just there too much, and, like, God forbid, all the employees, I mean, they do know me, but they don't, like, know me, like, a coworker. so I couldn't just keep going there if I worked there, that's just not how it works, the bar I work at, I had been there a handful of times, it's a line dancing, um, club, and, uh, I'd been there a few times before I started working there. Now that I work there, can never go. I can never go. Ever. A couple of my friends were here a few weeks ago and I took the day off. And they're like, we should just go. I was like, you guys can go, but there's no way I can go line dance in front of all my, my peers and coworkers. I just can't do that. We have to go literally anywhere else. Kind of a shame, kind of not a shame. Because I love my job, but now I don't have anywhere to line dance. So, it's a it's a... It's a challenging predicament, but I am kind of making it, as far as I know. Back to the build, um, I am doing a few last, like, little details. I think I just threw something in the entryway, a little mirror, um, I think a table with some mail, and I was just overall really happy with how the apartment came out. There are two children's bedrooms, one for a toddler, one for a child, as you already saw, I don't know what I was going with blue. I do know at a certain point I was like, you know what? I bet these kids are just like ski prodigious. Like in their parents, like just know that's why their bedroom is like blue and like ski themed. I don't, I don't know. But I do know that that was a thought I had while I was building this and I'm not mad about it. And look at me leaving a, a bathroom in my speed build because that never happens. And, uh, it's not, not too exciting. I, I see why I cut these out most of the time, but here it is for those who like them. And then we're just finishing up with the wallpaper and we're pretty much all done. This build is on the gallery and I will put that in the description box below because I'm not really sure what I named it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I post every Monday and Friday and I will see you guys next time. Bye everybody.